We got more clips coming out of training camp and some good quotes that we didn't get to yesterday from those interviews with Jim Harbaugh and Justin Herbert. But the two biggest winners of training camp so far, it's only been one day, but Cam Hart and Quentin Johnston, surprisingly. And Jim Harbaugh and Justin Herbert, they talked after practice yesterday about how good they think Quentin Johnston can be in this offense. So take a listen. I just think he got a bad rap. Uh, you know, I look at some of the clips coming out of training camp last year. I see a big, fast, strong, getting stronger. I think that's a piece that's, that's uh, really been addressed in the offseason. Coach Herbert and Quentin, you know, just getting stronger to go with that. I mean, at that speed, the agility, his, his ability to, to catch the ball. I mean, he plucks it out of the air. You know, he's as good as anybody doing it. Combining that, that speed and agility, you know, getting that strength component to go along with it. I mean, he, He's going to be a problem. You know, he's one of our top guys. So, hey, man, the Quentin Johnston propaganda and hype train, it is in full effect. It's in full swing right now. And, like, Jim Harbaugh is right. Like, he was having a pretty strong training camp last year. Made some pretty good catches, like some one-handed catches and things that we saw. But I also remember he did have some drops as well. And then he couldn't really put it all together in his first year, mostly because of him being put in a bad role in that offense because that coaching staff was just terrible but i've talked about it a lot quentin johnson is not the kind of guy that you want to throw a contested catch to down the field you want to throw to him underneath and allow him to work his magic that that's that's a way that he can utilize his speed you don't want to use this guy like mike williams even though you look at the build he looks like a mike williams kind of guy he's more of like a debo samuel guy like i, I even I don't know, Tyler Lockett is more similar to his game than a guy like DK Metcalf, even though the body type is more similar to a guy like DK Metcalf. Jim Harbaugh also said that he is improving and working on his route running, so that is going to help out his game a ton if that is true. And if you look at some of those highlights from yesterday, like Quentin Johnston was getting a lot of targets, it seems like. And in that Jim Harbaugh mic'd up video that just dropped yesterday on the Chargers YouTube channel, you should go check that out if you haven't. But he said that Justin Herbert threw eight for 14 yesterday in the team drills. And at least three of those balls went to Quentin Johnston from what we can see. So that's more than one third of the catches from the team drills yesterday. That's a, you know, a little quick math for you. He also had a really good day today and we will get to those clips later because he actually looked pretty freaking good. But really quickly, Justin Herbert, look at this dude. He is looking noticeably bigger than he has been previously. And you don't gain that kind of muscle mass quickly. So he had to have been working on putting on mass before Ben Herbert was even hired. I'm sure Ben Herbert has helped him since he's been on the team, but Justin Herbert just seems to be more locked in this year and more comfortable like in front of the camera and with the social media team. I said the same thing about Quinn Johnson when we saw that video of him walking into the building this year. They just feel like looser and, and more relaxed and Maybe that has something to do with having a coach like Jim Harbaugh that, you know, they trust and that they respect so they don't have to stress about the game plan being good or whether or not they're doing the right thing. They're just fully bought in and there is like a, a freedom to the discipline that I think we might be seeing from these guys right now. Now let's get to some of these clips from training camp today. Some of this new stuff. Like I said, Quentin Johnson had a very good day, but first let's get to some of these clips. Jim Harbaugh, he's focusing on the running backs a little bit more today. You can see him out there still in those cleats, I think. And the team, you know, they're practicing some handoffs, which as you know, Jim Harbaugh and Greg Roman, really, they're very particular about the way that the quarterback hands the ball off because the way that you hand that ball off it goes a long way to how successful your play action is if you can't sell that fake handoff the way that you sell that real handoff then the defense they're not going to be fooled by that play action and then your play action is going to suffer you're not going to be able to throw the ball very well you're going to be one dimensional on offense that's how big they view you know just handing the ball off the little details in, in these things Jim Harbaugh and Greg Roman are very particular about it. Also, we got the curtain back, which is just kind of working on anticipation, timing throws for the quarterbacks, but also the wide receivers as well. But this is more of a quarterback drill. And then we have some other throws, Justin throwing the ball to guys like Brendan Rice, Lad McConkey is catching the ball, Quinton Johnston, the best wide receiver of our time. Now, there are some clips that I want to break down. Let's get into this. Now, the first clip that we got, it's Quinton Johnston 
getting up there to make that catch over Dean Leonard. And we got two viewing angles of this one. We actually got three because the director was there at practice today and he was able to get this clip as well. But you can see it is a catch over Dean Leonard right here. Look at this freeze frame. I just said earlier in the video, he's not the kind of guy you want to throw up a contested catch to. And you can kind of see the reason here why he's letting it come into his body. He's not going out there and trying to make that catch and being aggressive at the catching point, trying to get the ball at its highest point. He's letting it come into his body. Pause. And you can see Dean Leonard, he's not really trying to contest for this ball, it looks like. He, like, he could get that hand in there a little more. I don't know if that's because Jim Harbaugh said, hey, we're not going full go until we get those pads on or what. But I'd like to see a little more effort from Dean Leonard, if I'm honest there. It looks like he's just kind of putting his hands up like the police are coming after him or something. But... Uh, AJ Finley is back there as safety. It looks like he's even saying, what the heck are you doing, Dean Leonard? I'm just now noticing that. But here's the view from this other side. And you can see second team offense. That was Easton Sick throwing the ball. Second team defense. You see Nick Neiman out here. I think that's Troy Dye. AJ fin or there's JT Woods down there at safety. And then AJ Finley comes in. Yeah, you can see that was a good catch by Quentin Johnson, but like to see a little more effort from Dean Leonard. Now here's the angle that the director got. You can see, go follow him on Twitter, you guys, if you don't already. I'm sure a lot of you already do, but here's the angle that he got, my man. Second team against second team. There's AJ Finley flying over. Boom, Quentin Johnson making that catch. It was a pretty good catch. You like to see that from Quentin Johnson, but again, Everything that I said still stands from those two viewing angles we got before. This one is a real, this one honestly is probably the best angle that I saw. Good job for the director, man. This, this is a great angle. Now we got this clip on Twitter from Chargers Country. This dude was legendary last year at getting those training camp clips out. And he's back at training camp again at the new facility. So shout out to him. He got this really good play for Lad McConkey. And you can see this is first team defense. We got Otita Ogbonia out there at the first team defense against first team offense. Look right here, Lad McConkey getting that ball, running downfield, getting a little bit of yak. He probably would have gotten lit up by Denzel Perriman if that was, you know, in pads, live action. But one thing that I want to point out really quickly is that we got Jasir Taylor right here. He's the nickel cornerback, Asante Samuel Jr., Christian Fulton on the outside. So those are our corners. We got Derwin James and Alohi Gilman at safety. And then, like I said, Otito Bonia is right here, Scott Matlock. Tuli Tui Pelotu and Bud Dupree in there as well. So that is the defensive formation. But look at Tuli Tui Pelotu. He's lined up right here. You guys can see with Dan Henley back there as well. But keep your eye on him because he kind of beats Joe Alt on this play, the right side of this offensive line. Look how he gets that pressure, throws Joe Alt to the side, and then goes on the inside. Look, he just throws Joe Alt, who is a ginormous human being. Tuli Tui Pelotu showing off the freaking strength right there. But now let's look at Lad McConkey in the slot right here working against Jasir Taylor, bro. Because this route and the footwork that he puts on display right here. Check this out. Oh, little shimmy move. I'm going to the outside. Now check this. Cut right there. And now where are you going, Jasir? I don't blame you because Lad McConkey is really freaking good at route running. But look at the separation he created. And then right here probably would have gotten boom lit up by the linebacker. But... A little thing that he does here is he catches this ball and then turns the other way. Thank you, Justin Herbert, for allowing him to do that with that ball placement. He turns the other way. So if he did get lit up by that linebacker, it's easier for him to hold on to that ball. And he's able to absorb that contact into his back rather than right on his face. Here's another clip from Chargers Country on Twitter. This is going to be Quentin Johnson. You can see him on the outside right here working against Cam Hart who's been having a pretty good training camp. Both of these guys are the two guys that have been standing out so far. It's only been two days, but still. Look at this route by Quentin Johnson. You can see he's able to get, you know, little like five yard cut and going towards the inside and then get some yak after that catch. But one thing that I don't like, I'm gonna be honest with you here, is look at Quentin Johnston's head because I watched every freaking play that he had last year and he's gonna put his head down and that means he's going to cut. That means he's not going to be running down the field. Look at him. Put his head down. Boom, right there. Put that head down. That means I'm going to be cutting. That's It is a dead giveaway. And if Cam Hart knew that, if he watched the film on Quentin Johnson before you know going into training camp, which I don't expect him to. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. If he knew that that was a flaw in Quentin Johnson's route running, he would have been way up there. And he would have been able to break this ball up 
or even like get an interception if he was fast enough and he was close enough to that line of scrimmage. So that's something that Quentin Johnson is going to need to work on that route running and not have those giveaways in his game like that. Now, this last one on Twitter from the director, and this is another really good clip. Shout out to the director because he's the only one who has this play from training camp today. Easton Stick back there. Obviously, this is second team offense. This is uh, Alex Leatherwood at right tackle, and that's going to be important for something i'm gonna bring up later on in this clip but easton stick on the rollout boom getting into the end zone for a touchdown now let me play this back so we can break this down tuli tui plow two out there this is kind of like first team defense really even though nick neiman is kind of rotating in so it's not every single starter but first thing that you're gonna notice is morgan fox right here at the interior defensive line spot He's going to shoot this gap where Jordan McFadden is pulling from. Brendan Hymas, the center, that's his assignment. He needs to get in there and fill that gap so that Morgan Fox cannot come downfield and break this play up. But also, look at Zach Hines, the undrafted free agent tight end, coming in there and boom, blowing up Morgan Fox so that he can't pursue Easton Stick on this uh, left, right side of the play. You know, it's really the right side, but the left side of the uh, film here. And then you can also see the right tackle, Alex Leatherwood crashing in on uh, helping out the block with uh, Jamari Sawyer, that is, and then working downfield to pick up the linebacker not really, uh, you know, the pads aren't on or anything like that, but they're going through the motions. The point is that he he's understanding what the assignment is, and he's actually getting out there and going through the motions of it. So it's good to see. Now, the last piece of news that I want to talk about is Mike Iopati is like on the Chargers coaching staff now, I think. I mean, li listen to this. Why don't you shake this hand of Mike Iopati and tell me if you've ever shaken a bigger hand. Uh, Mike Iopati, former offensive lineman, played for the Seahawks, the 49ers, and the Cardinals. He was a nasty and gritty, mean offensive lineman, so he fits that mold of the former player turned coach that is on the Chargers coaching staff, you know, like Nick Hardwick, Navarro Bowman, Delaney Walker, who's doing that Bill Walsh internship program, and Mikey Upati is probably on that same program. They can get multiple guys, but I love the fact that Jim Harbaugh is getting a ton of former players on this coaching staff, and every single one of them, they kind of fit this mold, like I said, of being gritty, and also a lot of them were very versatile as well. And if you did not see my video yesterday, here are all the highlights from day one of training camp. 